common 764 reminds you how to handle a fractional power. So, for example, 4 to the power of a half. Before we get into this, though, just make sure you're not needlessly wasting time. This is fractional power, but that fraction is also a whole number. So, so it's just a straightforward year 7 or 8 question. What do you do if you have a genuine fractional power? You should interpret a fractional power as an instruction for you to make up a question, for you to be the teacher. And your job is to make up a question where the answer is 4. And this too tells you that um, you have to use a multiplication. Um, it has to be a repeated multiplication and you have to use the same number twice. So your job is to come and try and is to fill that blank. Now these usually just involve small numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10. Um, so just work through those. Um, trial and error, just by elimination. 2 times 2 equals 4 works. And once you've decided that ingredient to fill the space, that is your answer. So this is just a big code for the following instruction. Come up with a question where the answer is 4. Make it a multiplication question. Make it use the same number over and over again. And in fact, make it so that it uses the same number twice. When you've come up with that number, just write it. That's all it is. Now when I say that fractional powers mean roots, the process of coming up with a question when where the answer is this, that's called square rooting. That's called rooting. Okay. Now square rooting is not the only type. I'll give you another example. So um, a thousand, um, ten thousand there. That means come up with a multiplication question where the answer is 10,000 and use the same number four times. Once you've come up with the number, just write it down. That's all you have to do. Now, if it had been this, uh, then it only wants you to have two spaces. It only wants you to use the same number twice. And so therefore the answer would be 100. Now, by the way, the symbol for these, the symbol for a fourth root where you have to come up with four of them, that's just this. That means the same as this. Um, and there's a famous thing, which is that if that number is a two, then you don't need to write it down. So that's, that means the same as that. Um, and that in turn means the same as that. So an ordinary square root simply means think of a number which when you times it by itself gives you this. Um, finally, I'll just tell you what happens if the numerator is other than a 1. Um, it just means that after you've come up with your answer, you then need to power that up. So 64 to the power of a third um, is 4, because 4 times 4 times 4, I said that three times, is 64. If I change that to a... 2, it just now means that you have to take that number you just had in your head, 4, and power it up by 2. So that's what fractional powers are.